Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure Functions, today we are going to learn how we can create an Azure function on Azure portal. So for, before creating an Azure function on Azure portal, let me give you a quick introduction of what actually Azure Functions are. So Azure Functions is a serverless computing service provided by Microsoft Azure that enables us to run small pieces of code or functions in the cloud without worrying about infrastructure. So it allows us to create event-driven applications that scale on demand. We earn only for the resource that we consume and we integrate, we can integrate other Azure functions with other resources that, are, that we have created on the Azure portal. So for creating an Azure function, let's sign into the Azure portal, portal.azure.com. So here we click on create a new resource. So here we either we can search the uh, type of the resource that we are going to create like virtual machine, web app, or SQL database, or function app, or we can just click on this function app for now and click create. So a subscription. So we, here a subscription means under we, uh, here we need to choose the subscription under which we are going to create our resource. So let me choose this one. So then we have to choose the resource group under which we are going to. Uh, create our uh, function app. So a resource group might be, uh, we can say it's a uh, it's a set of resources that we fall under a common group. So here let me say this. So then comes the Azure function app name. So Azure function app name must be unique all over the internet. So let me say YouTube function app. This name is available. So then we have the type of the code uh, deployment. Either we can deploy the code or we can deploy the Docker image. So let's go with code for now. Then we choose the runtime stack. So runtime stack means uh, here .NET or Node.js. It means the type of language uh, that we are going to use uh, to create our Azure function app. So here let's go with .NET for now. And then we choose the latest code. Then choose to choose the version. So let me go with let me go with six. Then check comes the region. A region is an a region means here means where our function app will be deployed. So here let me go with East US2. Then uh, here we have the operating system. Either we go with Linux or we can go with Windows. So for now let's go with Windows. So uh, here the operating system means uh, to which operating system or function app will be deployed. Then we have the hosted plans. Here we have consumption, function app, and premium. For now, let's go with consumption. Consumption means whenever there comes a request to your function app, then only you will be charged for that particular request. So let's go to review and create. It's validating. So here, this is the subscription ID, this is the resource group, and this is the name of the whole function app, and this is the runtime stack, .NET 6 latest version then we have the hosting storage account we do not need i guess one for this then we have a plan uh, hosting options and mask we here we have chose the consumption serverless then we have the name that's this resource group name then we have the operating system here we choose windows and we have the region east us2 then squ dynamic monitoring app application insights and we are not enabled monitoring for now then we have the deployment. We have say, chosen continuous deploy deployment here. So let's click on create. So it's initializing deployment. So deployment has been submitted. We can check the states of our deployment here. So its deployment is in progress. So meanwhile, let me tell you, there is one way, one more way to create Azure Functions. Either we can go with Visual Studio or we can go with VS Code. We can uh, directly create Azure Functions using VS Code. So in the next video, I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to teach you how we can create an Azure Function using VS Code.
the deployment takes a little bit of time. So let's click on this go to resource. So this is our function app. The source group name is this. Here we have the functions for now. We have not uh, deployed any functions to this function app. 